in this video we are playing find the bobas or as i like to say bubble teas um i'm gonna end up calling them bobos otherwise um so of course i really like bubble tea and um, the same as everybody else so of course when i saw this one pop up on my roblox menu i had to give it a go and i'm really glad that i did the map's really really nice um it's a really nice game to pass the time they're not overly difficult there's some that are just eyeballs that are a bit more like i think they call them chameleon ones that were a bit more challenging but this game would be really accessible for the younger players any fan of boba or bubble tea or if you are just a scavenger hunt fan and have some time to kill if you do get stuck with any of the bobas um there is an order list available in my video description but if you still get stuck, please do drop me a comment. I will always try and help you the best that I can. And if I can ask if you can help to support me by liking this video, drop me a comment, and most importantly, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so, so much. So the one little thing about this game is that I really do prefer the kind of characters in the index. I think they are so much cuter, so sweet in there. Really love the graphics on them. And then you've just kind of got these cups around the map. And what's funny is obviously when you watch saloons and know what they are when you go upstairs, it's funny that a copper is up there because copper is a UK kind of slang terminology for a police officer. <laughs> The fact that the police officer would be upstairs in a saloon is quite ironical, really. <laughs> so here's what I mean about sort of the index versus the cup in the map. Oh, I really wish that they were that sweet in the kind of map. And even better, I would love it if they were morphed and I could dress up like a bubble tea. Like, that would just be absolutely fabulous. <laughs> So to get in for Thursday, I did have to just pop into kind of first player view just to help me to get in there. I don't know if you can actually shimmy down the side. See, look how nice the index one is compared to the one in the map. <laughs> but speaking of the map, the map is really nice. There's loads of great attention to detail. I don't have any complaints with the map really, it's really nice. Um, the index works well, it's slightly different, I'm not sure if I like it or not, but the hint and the clue is separate from the actual boba in the index, so it's not quite 100% clear which one you need to get the hint to, to get in the index. I quite like that, it adds a little bit more of a challenge element. It's a light duplication on the map where you've got the number and the bobas found in the top left hand corner, but not a problem. Showing off my excellent obby skills there. But what I do like about the kind of screenplay on this game um, is that there's no kind of buttons flogging all the stuff for the shop. Um, the buttons are really small at the bottom of the screen, they don't interfere with gameplay which is one of my real big bugbears as a mobile user. So it's nice to have a lot of screens to actually see the map and the gameplay that I'm doing. It might help to have the sprint uh, turned off, so there is free sprint in this game. Um, the only thing is for once it's actually quite quick almost like too quick <laughs> um so yeah this video is also um not ordered by kind of the order that i found them in i've done it by location so obviously if you do see my numbers going up and down this will explain it So here is where I found my first chameleon and as you can see they're just like a little pair of eyes on the map so you will have to keep your eyes peeled um, for those ones as we go around but they will all be listed in my order list as I've already said. 
and luckily they're numbered so you'll know which one I'm talking about if I say one, two, three or four. So I like the idea of having the backstory but when you're kind of finding a hundred of these it does get a bit annoying to keep clicking off the backstory. Um, I don't know whether that would be better in the index so you can read them if you want to. Um, I don't know. It did get a bit tedious. I love Ponko <laughs> with a little mohawk. Oh, that one is awesome. Yeah, I so prefer the index version of these characters. Do you need the sparkles as well? They made it really obvious where the characters are, so I can see why it would sort of make this game accessible, especially for the younger players, but just means the character is already 3D and it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb anyway. So for the Ferris wheel, obviously you need to get up to um, to the one at the top, but you can't jump on the bars. <laughs> so, um, the only thing, I don't know how I managed to do it, but if the Ferris wheel isn't turning, I don't know if you stay on it long enough, eventually it starts, so you can see somehow I've managed to start the Ferris wheel. But what you do need to be is you do need to be on the roof of the cart rather than inside. I know I'm missing again. <laughs> there we go. And we have managed to go and get Hazard. I've been sat here playing the game and I was just thinking. The version in the index, what does it remind me of? And it's Find the Foodkin because they're really, really sweet little animations of sort of foods and drinks. Oh, we have disturbed Rocco in the bathroom. We better go out. <laughs> Not a very nice bedroom, but I absolutely love Ghost. Out of all the ones in the actual map, I love that face on that cup the best. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Scream if you've ever seen that horror movie, if you're old enough to watch it. Again, this is an area where you may find that you want to turn your sprint off to the platforms. My obby skills suck at the best of times without kind of being catapulted so much quicker. nearly missed the one tucked inside and wow big shout out to big ben which is obviously a famous famous clock here in um, the uk in london So when you get to 80 bubble teas you can get a jetpack so I cannot wait to get that one. I was literally counting down to like you get that jetpack and it's really nice that it's free. Um, that's a really nice touch. So if you get to the tent you can go round the map there and come across or just go on the trampoline and hit the blue bar and it will think that it will take you back to the spawn. 
it's a little cheap, but it's there, so we can use it. I mean, they must be pro skaters to get up onto the surface tent off what I assume would be a mimicking a grind rail. <laughs> and I actually like really do give the developer credit because there's obviously been a lot of thought and a lot of work to even write all of those backstories um, to all of these characters. So where you can see it's sort of lagging, um, it's not the game, it's my iPad, so please just disregard that. <laughs> Every single bit of space has been used. We have Doctor, and I don't know why this Doctor looks like Mario. <laughs> oh, I so expect a Luigi one to be popping out somewhere. So by clicking the light switch, you can remove the curtain. This is an absolutely lovely feature of this game. I'm so glad that these ones have been um, included in there. I think it's a bit too late for that patient. <laughs> I don't know why they're in the hospital. <laughs> so as you can see, we have got the bubble jetpack on and it's absolutely amazing. So obviously you have the jetpack perks of sort of the kind of when you're jumping off things the kind of increased length you also fall a bit gracefully but you have these absolutely awesome bubbles uh, wherever you walk absolutely love that jetpack so thank you so much for making that free for you just to have a bit of fun and what is a find the game without a maze so it pops up when one of the players finds one of the bobas and they just happened to find that chameleon one right as I was walking past, so that was a bit of luck. Again, it just makes it kind of really obvious where they are if other players are playing. You can just kind of like follow them around and they'll find these ones for you. Again, you can go over the other way to go and get some of these, but if there's an easier option, I'm going to take it. And they have literally missed a trick, so any kind of person who's lived through the 80s maybe would have appreciated Mr. T looking like one from the A-Team with all the gold chains. <laughs> I can't look at those index pictures because I'm really disappointed that they're not in the map. I absolutely love those index animations so much. When you play these games often enough you start to see certain things that have been in repeatedly in games so I sort of know where some of the hidey holes might be. And I am right because we have found Kitty. A 
and what's nice again that kind of gives that accessibility to the younger players um, and it makes it slightly less annoying for people who can't do obbies like myself is that they have got the spawn points at the start of each of the obbies so they have really thought about sort of the user experience um, and just making it kind of a bit more easier for some people as well that's a really nice touch I love that, bow blocks. <laughs> so it's just lovely little kind of, when you actually look at the game um, and you actually have a look in more detail, there's some lovely little features to this game. So obviously this one forces you to go down the slide the only thing is it can take absolutely ages to get down there because you are literally being kind of thrown about the slide like a pinball ball but it's fine eventually I got down there you would have a serious headache if you were going to go down a slide like that in real life Plus maybe some broken arms, broken ankles, broken legs, spinal injuries, you know, the works. <laughs> I was kind of expecting to see like the rock on a boba cup, but no. <laughs> Again, there is an element that you can make these slightly harder as well by making those trusses um, invisible just to try and make the players really kind of have a look around the map. But again, for younger players, you know, it, it's there, they can see it. If this was real life, you would not find me going into that cave for anything. Um, as an arachnophobic, having these bright red spiders chasing me around is not something that I would want to be going anywhere near. And as you can see, we've made it to the halfway mark now. Um, and I haven't even touched the beach, the pirate ship, none of the other areas. Um, so as I said, they make real good use of the map and all the space they've got in that map.
again this is me picking up the jetpack in the first place oh, I just love that jetpack so with the sprint on it is a tiny bit hard to control <laughs> I think that says more about my skills than the jetpack itself <laughs> That's really weird. There's a toilet but no toilet. <laughs> so what is it? Just to go in and stand in their cubicle? <laughs> oh, that's really funny. We've obviously got the one from Angry Birds. Into the school area now. like the hidden one behind the bookcase. Kate is obviously trying to get out of school by hiding, playing their switch. Would have been nice to have a few more little furnishings details on the shelves. So we're finding bulk now and um, this is one of the kind of harder ones. And this was a nice one, um, helped with the jetpack. You don't need the jetpack to get it by the way. <laughs> but it just meant that I saw the gap in the wall a bit better. I love the bubbles in that jetpack. So now we're going to move on to sort of the beach, the ship and the castles. And what's funny is that I was looking around, I was looking around the area. Did I see the eyes on the duck's bum? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even spot it. Um, so that's really amusing and just shows like even after all this time playing scavenger hunts I'm still really oblivious sometimes. why pyramids there um, I do hope that they expand the map and maybe move that one into kind of desert uh, where a pyramid would be lovely hidden one there for Cleo um, literally found that one by chance by dropping onto that little wall bit that stuck out really nicely hidden one there
is another tomato you can just see it on the back of the tree there again not sure why piggy's there um, again you've got an opportunity to expand the map for a farm uh, where that would actually suit a bit better Love the ship. By far, these ones are my favourites in the games over the sort of blocky pirate ship. Love the attention to detail on these pirate ships. This was where the jetpack would have come in really, really handy for these. <laughs> And we have found Tuesday. So we found Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> then again, we've got like the chicken one for farm. Would stick a bit more. Uh, the, the, the penguin one we've just found on the pirate ship. Again, you could have an Arctic area where that could then feature. That was so, could I have got any luckier than that, that I missed the platform and then fell and hit that very edge. <laughs> and that's where that checkpoint really does come in handy because I can just throw myself off and go back to where I was instead of having to go back to spawn and running all the way back again. really surprised there wasn't one in with the treasure chest or in the captain's bedroom. But the Pirate King is actually preferring to spend their time on the lower deck with all of their treasure. And we have found bones. See, look, wouldn't that one have been so much nicer in the map than that other one? And then the other chameleon, you can just see it on, hidden on the master. Really cheeky one. This one did take me a while to find. Just because obviously there's so much detail, so much to look at um, on the ship. And that was actually my last one that I found. So chuffed when I found that one. These platforms will disappear, so you are going to have to get across.
and then of course we do have to go around inside the cave whatever this is the, the stone island <laughs> building and again it's like a little mini maze um i don't like these at the best of times i get really turned around in them <laughs> And this is really weird because that's sort of like the only one that's not shaped like a cup. I'm really surprised the statue in the middle also wasn't a character to, to collect. Two really close together there. And just a reminder if you would like to see yourself at the end of one of my videos, please do keep the YouTube comments coming. Obviously, I'm not going to put questions in there, but if you do drop me a comment, you will have a chance of seeing yourself at the end of my video. So for night we've got another little nice feature here where you've got to pull the lever which pulls back the curtains. Again another lovely little nice touch to that one. going around the cliff and we can find this little area and again this is where that jetpack kind of helps because it just slows your descent as you're kind of jumping So that finishes off this game i really do hope they do do some updates i will be back if they do and there we have it thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe take care and see you real soon bye